as time passes, I'm not just trading him for anything. I'm just not going to just do it just to do it because we're, we're mad and we're frustrated, and rightfully so, because we should be. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you anything's going to change. I'm just not going to trade him for a bag of balls and stuff that I don't think is going to make this basketball team better. Make sense? I'm just not going to do it. I know what Damian Lillard will bring. He's going to bring me two championships minimum. Minimum. Him with Joel Embiid. I can't say that for any other trade that is tossed into a trade machine or that Daryl Morey picks up the phone for. I, I can't. I can't say that. I can't. I don't feel the same way. Right? I can't say the Colin Sexton's of the world and, you know, the Aaron Fox, who I love, okay, and, and Bradley Beals. I can't say that they're going to take us to Broad Street. More so than I could say Ben Simmons could take us to Broad Street, right? Like, I can't, I can't say just because the grass is, feels greener there. When I know what Damian Lillard is. He carries a lesser squad everywhere he's, the whole time he's been there. So coming here and teaming him up with the best big man in basketball, yeah, that's going to equate to a lot of success. Does, do the other ones who are on losing teams, right? I, I don't know. Do they all have the stench of losing on them? Or are they stat junkies? And I'm a, and, and I hate Ben Simmons right now. Still hate him. Still despise him. Okay, but I'm just not going to be like, yeah, he, he's got to go for anything. If he's not going to improve on things that he needs to, do those guys that you bring in in return, there's no guarantees in anything. But does that get you closer to forget winning the finals? Does that get you closer to a finals or an Eastern Conference finals? Because we that's the crazy thing, Tom. We haven't even been there yet. So like, as much as I want to talk about what gets us to a parade, Hell, I would like to get to the dance first. Let's get to the the pre-version of the dance. Because I'm just trying to figure out how to get past the second round. That's how crazy this is. Yeah, I don't know if them guys get you past the second round. I, I, there's no there's no guarantee with those guys. You know what and I mean? The, and the reason why I continuously say that there are more people on my quote-unquote list that I think you could bring in and it would be a better team, it's because... We went to a game seven against an inferior Hawks team. Okay, they beat us. That's great. But if the players are playing the way they should be, we're a better team than them. That we ha- we were all year. We have been for the last handful of years. So that Hawks team, we lose to them in seven. If you get just guys to do their jobs, we beat them in six, beat them in five. You know what I'm saying? Where we were that it's kind of like what we talk about years ago with the Kawhi Leonard bounce in game seven. Like they're that roster was – there were so many things wrong with that roster, the Jimmy Butler roster. You had Ben Simmons. who was basically four on five because he was playing the four, and he was just going in and hiding. And we were within five bounces of going not only the Eastern Finals, but just based off of matchups, we could have ended up winning the entire thing. Yeah, this is Philly, though. So, I mean oh, – I, I hear you. Know, you, you, you can say, oh, well, this guy's going to make us better, and we'll be better, and he'll come here, and he won't be good enough. Granted, and Tom, you've known this for weeks. Like, I'm I'm on the agree side of the poll. Uh, or no, I'm sorry. I'm on the disagree side of the poll. Like, if it, it's not Dame or bust to me. Um, obviously, he's at the top of my list. Uh, and he's the prized possession that you're willing, you know, to go after. And that's the one, the, the guy you're going to chase and probably throw anything out there to try and get him. And, he, and again, he's also the same guy that, you know, he's going to give you the most guarantees. But I'm also not out there saying that I would just sell him for, you know, 15 cents on the dollar either. Like I, the, the Sexton, Kevin Love and pick trade, it's interesting, but like we've talked about before, I don't sit here two seconds after that trade is made and say, we're closer to a finals. I, I don't, I don't know. There's, if anything, that supplies me more questions than answers because to your point, Tom, with Ben Simmons, while I can't stand the guy and I declared him dead to me weeks ago, at least I know what I'm getting from Ben Simmons in the regular season. Yeah, well, at least Bradley I know. Bill's another one though, like Bradley Beal's another one that people are just are like, yeah, 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 and they don't think about it. Like he's hurt a lot. Okay, even though he's younger, he feels like he's 32. <laughs> so do I need another star on this team that's missing 20 plus games a year? No, I don't need that. I have I have enough of that. You know what I mean? So I need somebody who's going to play. So if Joel goes out. 
is the Aaron Fox, who I love. Does he make us good enough? In the regular season or in the playoffs? Because that's both. I don't I don't think De'Aaron Fox could lead a playoff team to where we need to. But I think if Joel Embiid, you know, is out for 20 games and you have De'Aaron plus, you know, Tobias and, you know, Curry and those guys, yeah, I think you would be fine. I don't uh, think it would be disastrous. Fine. Dame, the, Dame I know I won't, I can still win with. Like, oh, I'm yeah, going gonna, gonna to wake up that morning and say, and I'm not debating you, I'm saying in general, oh, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. out there on what I'm trying to say. I can mm-hmm. wake up knowing that I still have a chance to win an Eastern Conference Finals game with just Damian Lillard out there and no Joel Embiid, like Damian Tobias. I can say to myself, yeah, I still got a chance to win this game tonight. Well, it's it's tough, too. And, like, I hear you with the Bradley Beal thing because he was injured not only when we played him in the playoffs but for the latter part of this year. But he's not somebody to me that – and I would have to look at the games played. He's not somebody to me that screams injury prone. And we also have to remember, I, I mean, Ben Simmons hasn't been – the, the best at staying healthy the last couple of years. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's been banged up with the shoulder, with the wrist, with the yeah, friggin' but, knee, the back. Yeah, but this is constant like hammies, 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 hammies. Oh, I hear you. We are talking about Bradley Beal. My, my number five on the top five list is De'Aaron Fox. He's number five for me. I think you can make a ton of trades with him, and that's fine. You could send him out to Sacramento. Ben Simmons, that is, that's fine. Bradley Beal was four to me. But here's the issue, and to your point, Tom, there is no realistic one-for-one trade with Sixers and Wizards. There's not, because I don't want to put Ben Simmons in the East. And really, given the circumstances, there's Simmons and Westbrook don't make sense together. So that would take extra, like a three-team trade type thing. Um, and again, I have questions, but I think he would be really good along with Joel and Tobias and, and Seth. Number three, and again, you and I always butt heads with this, but Zach Levine is my number three because he's a flat-out bucket, and that's what we friggin' needed. That's what we need. Over over Fox? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah just, he's, a better, he's a better three-point shooter. He's gotten better every year. It's also older than him. Um, only 26. Yeah, but he's been in the league longer than him. Mm-hmm. No, he has. He has. He's really got a stand show on him. I mean, I, I if you want to put a five, I would maybe agree with you that maybe he's the fifth, but – I can't. I can't put him over De'Aaron Fox. No, I I know. And like I said, I know you're you're not a a, a fan of of Levine at all. I get no, I'd rather trade Ben to Washington than to Chicago for Levine. I'd rather have Beal than Levine. So I mean, I I like again. I think the other two, just for me, the other yeah. two are, are definitely higher up than than um than that. But go ahead. And, and I and I hear you with the Chicago thing. I think the only way the Chicago thing to happen is if you bring in Minnesota. Like the thing that came out, like oh, Minnesota really wants Simmons. Well. Minnesota doesn't have anything I want realistically, unless you're going to give me Edwards, which even then I'm, that's still a kid. You know what I mean? Um, but it would be a thing where you send Ben out to Minnesota and then, you know, Minnesota sends Chicago some things, but either way, um, my number two, and listen, I understand he plays for a small market. I am. So I would move mountains for this guy. Shea Gilgis Alexander would make us, a finals contender given the circumstances with our roster. He's exactly what you need. He runs the point. He's he's so friggin' smooth. He can get a bucket however he wants, whenever he wants. He's been in the playoffs. That guy, I'm telling you, if you had SGA along with Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Seth Curry, Maxi coming off the bench, that's the that's the one. Aside from obviously Dane. Yeah, I, I like SGA. I, I don't know if he puts us over the top because how young he is. I, I don't know. That's the other that's the other factor in it. I'm ready to win now. And everybody like I don't need to get younger. You know, I, I'm a believer in staying young and, and, and riding the wave of youth, but I need to I need to I need to go win. And and doing that is by going to get a veteran. And I disagree with everybody out there that Levine ten times better than Beal and Levine ten times better than Fox. I, I think you guys are a little crazy now. All right, because if he was ten times better, his team once in a while would snip the fucking postseason. And I don't. I think you're gonna have to give up something in all these deals more than you want to too. And that's the other th- reason that I don't love these deals, right? Because if I got to give up Matisse or Maxi and and all these other deals, one of the two, just say right, <laughs> hypothetically, no, then I'm just gonna give up Matisse and Maxi and Ben for Dane. 
That's where I'm drawing the line on this shit. Because I'm not giving up them two young guys and Ben Simmons, one of the two, for, let's just say, Zach Levine. No, absolutely fucking not. I'm not giving it up for Bradley Beal. I'm not giving them guys up for Fox. I'm not giving you up extra. You know what I mean? I'm not giving you extra for some of these guys who play on losing teams. You know what I mean? Like, I, like how can I? Would you give up Shake and Matisse? For who? For what? for like S, like SGA, for example. Like Man. you, like the, like the thing I like. Here's the thing I I sent you this the other day, and we were going back and forth on it. It, it was a couple weeks ago, and, and this is a three teamer. And again, I know the the name I'm going to mention is like the kiss of death. But again, money wise, he would have to come here. It would be a three team trade with Sixers, Warriors, and Thunder. The Warriors would get Ben Simmons and Shake Milton. The Thunder would get Matisse Thibel and as many picks as they want. They can they can have twenty picks. I don't give a damn. Uh, including, by the way, the number seven pick via uh, Golden State. And the Sixers would be coming back with Shea Gilgas Alexander and Andrew Wiggins. So your starting five would be Gilgas Alexander, Curry, Wiggins, Tobias, and Bede. You'd still have Maxi. And then you can and you can obviously build your bench around from there. I just want to make sure I'm getting back. What I'm getting back is going to make me more successful. And there's one guy I know it will, and that's Damian Lillard. Anybody else that tells me that any deal is as worth is as good as that one, it makes his head and shoulders better. I think you're just I think you're hating Ben Simmons a little too much, which I get. Which I get. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I think it's too much hate. I mean, it's an overkill of hate. They assume that all these guys just make it that much better. And I don't know if they do. The one guy I know does. So anybody out there that thinks I'm protecting Ben, I'm not. I'm telling you, go get the deal done for fucking Dane. Because any other deal is you are buying a used car, in my opinion. So you don't know how it's going to run. Let's go, Marleek. Marleek said, just ordered my Manscaped. Thanks for the discount. I hope it's worth it. Brother, it's worth it. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code HUD at manscaped.com. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Great product. I'm going to say, clean myself up today. I feel I feel better as a man. Great be stuff. Yeah, yeah, really excited about it. So 20% off of free shipping with the code ATD at manscaped.com. We're just kind of looking at all the given. Look at all the given. It's just constant. Now you get back to your lady. Now that's your job. We gave to you, you get back to your lady. Done and done.